will be bigger at normally this this would be suffice normally this would work but you see boys you cross the line so I gotta bring out the big guns I gotta bring out the really big guns I kid not really yes I do I kid anyways um yeah thought that might be funny yeah, maybe it will be maybe it won't maybe some people will not get it I'm sure most of you will not anyway so what is this video about well originally I was gonna do a video I had thought about doing a video on Dragon Gate and my problems with Dragon Gate and kind of what I didn't like about Dragon Gate and this that and the other thing about Dragon Gate but for those of you not aware Dragon Gate didn't have a really good night last night and I felt like this would be kind of kicking them when they were down so I didn't really want to do it but then I noticed that Big Rat put up a video and LV put up a video and they were basically defending Davy Richards man my head looks crazy crazy anyways uh LV Big Rat put up two videos defending the fact that they thought Davy Richards should win the ROH title at best in the world and I disagree so I'm going to give my points because I came on here and I said you know who is Ring of Honor missing? A lot of people gave their their ideas, though most people I don't agree with them. Um, and so I just thought I would come in here and maybe answer my own video and answer them as well, since they brought up actually some great points. But let me start off with this. When I said that I didn't think there was anyone in Ring of Honor that about the title and about looking like they could, I guess people took it as though, and maybe I said this, and this is not what I meant to say, looked like they should be in the main event in WWE people took that the wrong way what I meant was there needed to be somebody that when people saw them they thought wow why isn't this guy in the WWE wow after they see them for a while wow why isn't this guy you know um this guy could main event this guy could this guy's a better wrestler than John Cena there's no one in WWE that can touch him there's no one in TNA can touch him that sort of thing because as we all know Ring of Honor is going to have, even though it's a small TV deal, a TV deal. And it's going to be mainly in markets they haven't gone before, so it's going to be, for the most part, you would think people who have not heard the name Ring of Honor, don't know much about Ring of Honor, and so they want to expand that fan base. And so that first show is an important show. That's the first show that people see. Um, if they see your champion, that's kind of a first impression. That's the guy that, oh, wow, that's the guy. I don't think Davy Richards is that guy, right off the bat. I don't think Eddie Edwards is the guy, right off that bat. Now that doesn't mean I don't think I think you should get a guy that you know is the six foot six, you know, built guy that looks like every other guy in the WWE. That's not what I meant. I simply meant a guy people can believe in that. Oh wow, this guy is as good as anybody in WWE. I e the way Taz was Taz, yes Taz, who pretty short guy, not even five ten I don't believe, and. People looked at him, I looked at him, most people looked at him, particularly when he started the MMA gimmick, and believed, holy shit, this guy could kick the shit out of anybody. And this guy should could go anywhere in the world and would be and should be and probably would be champion. That's what I mean. Now, I don't think Eddie is the guy, because I don't think that's the type of wrestler Eddie is. I don't think that's the guy that I don't think Eddie's the type of guy you look at and you go, and I love Eddie, and I don't mean this in any disrespect. Like the guy you look at and go, okay, we're gonna build the whole company around him. Um, he's very good at babyface and peril, and I think he's the type of guy that you have a really strong. If you have a lot of strong uh, heels, I think he would make an excellent champion. And they do have some pretty strong heels at the moment for Ring of Honor, but when they start TV, I'm not so sure. And you have Davey, and yes, Davey is mad over. I wouldn't call him the most over. I think if you, I think Big Rat said he felt he was the most over guy in Ring of Honor. I'll tell you what, when Steen comes back, and Steen will come back, and anyone that always asks, how do I know Steen's coming back? Where isn't Steen wrestling? Ask yourself that, and then that's how you know Ring of that he's coming back to Ring of Honor. Um, so, anyways. But when Steen comes back, he'll instantly probably be the most over guy. When you start TV, probably I would say a good month within TV, um, you know, El Generico is probably going to be much more over than either Eddie or or Davey. Um, the Briscoes, with you know, as a tag team, though as an act, they'll probably be mad over, I would imagine, to a fresh audience that would check them out. I think that they would be over. I only, and the thing with Davey is that for Davey to be over, Davey's kind of like 
Chris Benoit in that you have to see him wrestle. You have to see him kick ass. And after a while, you start to see him kick ass, and you're like, wow, this guy's really good. And you build it from there. He's not a guy that you simply thrust onto a bunch of new fans, and the idea is to grow a new audience. He's not that guy. And that's no disrespect to him because there's just some guys that aren't like that. There's great guys in the history of pro wrestling that just aren't those type of guys. And so that's why I would say I would personally, if, if, if I was booking Ring of Honor and I, you know, and Sinclair came to me and said, what would you do? What I would do, is I would bring in Loki. I would have him beat Eddie Edwards, um, you know, at that Richmond show and be done with it and say, isn't that Richmond? Oh no, it's not Richmond, it's wherever it is. Wherever that show is going to be. Um, and before they go, before they start TV, have him come in, have him beat, because to me, that's a guy that you look at, he's not big. Um, and it's not because he's been on WWE, it's the fact that you can simply go, this is our champion, we're going to go to a video, we're going to go to an interview with him, and he starts talking, and you're like, wow, this guy sounds evil as sin. Then later tonight, we're going to see him wrestle, and then he comes out and he kicks the shit out of somebody. And it works. And that's what we do. And it gets him over. And people believe that the Ring of Honor champion is a complete badass. And that's kind of what you need to do. So that's more of what I meant. Now, do I think... Now, if, if I'm booking Ring of Honor, and this is the way I'm thinking, and Big Rat's video had a lot to do with me of conversation me and him had, and a few others, my thing is this. If if the plan is, and if Ring of Honor says to themselves, you know, Eddie's or Davey is not the guy to have the title when we start television, not that at Final Battle he couldn't win it, not somewhere down the road he couldn't win it, but if, the, but if you look at it and say, okay, Davey's not the guy to have the title when we start television, then what are you going to do? You're going to have Davey win the title and then lose the title, or do you have Davey lose to Eddie? Say say, you know, I'm going to, you know, leave Ring of Honor and then have Eddie have a defense, have whoever Eddie takes on beats him, maybe, maybe low-key, beats him, and then beats the tar out of him and hurts him to send a message. And then that brings back Davey. Now that's me fantasy booking, of course. But if you do that, then you can bring Davey back. Now, do is, is that what I think Ring of Honor has in mind? Mm, probably not. I wouldn't be surprised if Davey does win and does go in as champion. It's just not what I would do. It's not what I, I think they need to do. And so there is my case. And I don't think, by the way, that he's the most over guy. Um, I think if you've been to any of the live shows recently, you've known that Davey is mad over and that while Davey is still over, you know, I, I would say El Generico is probably the most over guy in Ring of Honor right now. Now, is he a guy you're going to put the title on? Mm, probably not. He's probably probably the best guy in the ring, too, technically, if you want to look at it. He's probably one of the best guys. And he's not a guy that you would put the title on when you start te television, because you have to explain who he is. You ha He's like Davey in that way, in that it takes a while for fans to get into him, and then once they get into him, then maybe you can do something with him. So... That's why I wouldn't. Now, they both brought up different reasons. One of the reasons they brought up was TNA, and they brought up AJ Styles and the fact that back in the day, you know, AJ Styles was the guy, and that that's who all the fans wanted. And I disagree, and this is why I disagree. The very first guy that if you followed TNA that the fans really wanted to have the title was not AJ Styles. The very first guy, well, it might have been AJ Styles when they were still doing the weekly pay-per-views. Um... But the, really, the first guy that people were really like, wow, that guy needs to be champion. And that that's the guy we need to build that build the stuff or build the company around. And the first guy that the fans were truly, truly into and they really wanted to be champion was Monty Brown. And I have said forever that I think Monty Brown, that if they had put the title on Monty Brown, I think TNA at that point might be in a very different place than they are now because that was the first guy. Then they had a second guy. The second guy was Samoa Joe. Because why? Because both guys were seen a as badasses. They were both interesting characters. They were both bigger than life. And people believed that those guys, both of those guys, when they were at their very peak, go to the WWE, and would were just as good as John Cena or Triple H or Batista or anybody else. That they belonged in that realm, not because they had the look, not because of anything like that, just because they were awesome. They were badasses. And that's what you need. You need badasses. You need two guys, or you need a guy, who 
people truly believe is a badass and you get the shit out of people and is something very different than what you get from WWE and TNA because, wow, this guy looks like a legit ass kicker in pro wrestling, which is not something we normally see nowadays. So there, there is my point that, you know, that while I agree that I, I don't think Eddie is, or Davey is the most over guy, I think him and Eddie right now, if you go to a live show, um, and yes, they've only been to two, but I have, you know, I, I've, I would still say that if you, if you, if you look at those shows, that Eddie is mad over, and that Eddie was way over when he won the top before even he won the title, he was starting to get really, really over. So there's a lot to that. So yes, I, I don't necessarily think Davy Richards needs to win the title. That's why. Now, if he loses the title, does he lose his momentum? Mm, perhaps. And the trick is at that point is is to make people care again. But I do think Ring of Honor has to take a look and ask themselves, okay, who do our key guys have to be when we start television? If, if the idea is to bring in new fans, if the idea is to bring in a new, you know, that we're going to have all these markets and we truly are going to try to maximize the TV to the best of our ability, which means we're going to try to bring in fans, we might just find the show and we're just going to push key guys. Who are those key guys and how do we do it? And I just, while I think Davey is one of those guys, I think that's, I think he's a guy that you build up maybe the final battle to win, to win, and you get, try to get him over the same way Chris Benoit got over, which was he goes out, has great matches every time. That's what he has to do, because he's that type of guy. Um, as opposed to a guy who's, you know, you look at and you go, wow, who is that? Who, in my opinion, that would be Loki. Now, are they going to bring in Loki? Probably not. I, I would be shocked and amazed. But that's what I would do, and that's why I'm not really big on Davey being champion going into television. Do I think he'll probably be champion when he goes into television? Mm, probably. But also, also Big Rat said that, you know, because... I still don't know why he even said this. Because it had been said. It had been said by Carousel B, that... You know, only the best wrestlers would be the champion. That that is what he was basing everything on. Guess what? He doesn't own the company anymore. Yes, he's still kind of with the company. But he probably doesn't have a lot of say. And if Sinclair has any type of say, mm, that might not be the case anymore. I'm just saying. And I don't think this is a case necessarily of you don't listen to the old fans. But I think it's a case of what do we need to do to maximize the exposure we're going to have once this TV deal starts. And that's what Ring of Honor kind of needs to be asking themselves. I think they kind of painted themselves in the corner because they were already kind of booking themselves to this event, and then people wanted to see this event. Now, if, let's say, Davey wins, and then he loses he loses somewhere down the line before they get on television, well, now you just hot shot at the title for, you know... Is that going to do any good? I mean, those are the things that I think. Now, as I said, I firmly do think that Davey will win. And if he doesn't win, then Eddie definitely shouldn't be the champion going in. That's no offense to Davey, but I think, or Eddie, but I think that Eddie would make a better guy, much like Davey, of build up, build up, build up, build up. This is, this is him, this is him, where, you know, you get the fans behind him. Because he's not the best on the mic. And what's going to get him over is his in-ring skill. Because I do believe that you can get you can get over in today's pro wrestling world on in-ring skill, just as you know, maybe not as much as being a great talker, but well enough to where you can go up the cart in a company like Rainwater. But anyways, that's all I want to do. I just want to respond to both of them in that way. So with that, I'm out. Have a good one later.